say this and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Anything move, we bring that. You know, people tend to fall in love with numbers, and I get it. You know, it's a good measure. It's a measuring stick. You you can measure uh, how a team perform, but you gotta you gotta marry it with the actual game tape. And you can see, like, leaders are leaders. And when you motivate people, I mean, that goes a long way. You you will be willing to run through a wall. You will be really, really willing to run through a wall. And that's what I believe what J. Ron Curtis brings to the table. It's not about his numbers of whether or not he have four or five interceptions, five forced fumbles. It's not about that. It's the impact of being a leader, calling out the plays. And, and when they said that, that went a long way. You know, for me, think about this. It's been a long time since we had a guy on the defensive side of the corn to be so poised with it. Coming from the safety, he's a hybrid type of player, right? You can argue that, hey, he's a linebacker slash safety slash motivator. He does it all. <laughs> all right, let's listen in to these guys over here. Ryan Clark noticed one big thing about the uh, Cowboys adjustments and uh, and this allow Michael Parson to be free, right? But let's listen to the audio. Minor detail that had a major impact with this Cowboys team against the Vikings. What was that? It was J. Ron Kirsch is now the play caller. He, yeah. He's the green dot. Listen, I played a lot of ball, and I was the captain of two different teams. They never gave me right. the green dot. I'm actually <laughs> jealous. Now, what this did was let Michael Parsons be free. Let Michael Parsons not think. This is the best he's played from the inside linebacker position. Michael Parsons got to bring this thing back to park ball, right? Run and hit. J. Ron Kirsch is a guy that was leading this team in tackles coming into the game, but he's a journeyman throughout his career. Imagine the respect you have to have garnered from this offseason to this point to be the guy standing in front of the huddle. And if you look at this team before this game, they gave up a ton of yards, but they were opportunistic. This defense was stingy against the Minnesota Vikings. You can attribute that to two things. First, J. Ron Kirsch yeah. is not a play call and Michael Parsons can be free. Second, Nina Kine said something nice about <laughs> <laughs> but that was them talking about details of J. Ron Curse. Now, if you look at the stat, you know, th these are just stats or what have you. 37 solos. That's not bad at all, Cowboy Nation. That's really good. And when you scroll down, and I'm telling people, look at the film. Don't fall in love with the stat line. Overall, he's 72.4. Run defense is 79.2. Can he improve a little bit on coverage? Yeah, we, we can. Curse, can you cover a little bit better? But they don't drop this man in coverage as much. That's why his pass rushing is 90.1. And he have what? Oh, 14 stops. That's not going to go on many of stat sheets, by the way. What people tend to look for are sacks, interceptions. Okay? That's what they look for. But you fail to realize that this guy... He's been flying out to the ball. I, I, I brought up a point the other day, and this is the, the Dallas Cowboys. Overall, the number two, and, and but the offense is number one. The defense is tied for 18th, and I get it. A lot of people will say, well, the Cowboys on the bottom end in a lot of categories as it relates to defense. Don't you guys know that the Minnesota Vikings were fourth ranked in defense when we played them, let me know which defense you would prefer to have. That fourth-ranked defense had no answers to a backup quarterback. Cooper Rush, they didn't have no answers to it. Now, of course, they did a good job in the first quarter, and we can start talking about, well, you talk about number 99, he got hurt or what have you. The outcome probably would have still been the same. I don't know if many of you guys would like to walk around and say, I would prefer to have the Minnesota defense versus this defense that you see over there. Hmm? So don't fall too much in love with stats or what have you. Uh, there's a saying stats are for losers. I get it. A lot of people will look at the stat line. And they will miss the meat worrying about the potatoes. Can we improve on getting to the quarterback? Yeah, they can improve. Defense, defense is just like this, though. 
sometimes it's not about how you start but it's about how you finish and the season is so long and I would prefer this particular team to peak at the latter part of November December-ish January when the defense really on the same page I ever saying building the plane while it's in the air right this is what this defense is collectively doing we got our reinforcements coming but when you think about J. Ron Curse and what he's bringing to the table my goodness sometimes other teams may not see where you are at or where, what you're going to become George Edwards somehow one way or another him and Dan Quinn know how to utilize number 27 J. Ron Curse that's why they in empowered him let's put that green dot on your back of the helmet <laughs> let's put that green dot baby so now we can have Parsons to run free now we got our safeties believe it or not the ones that's on top of the roof they play freely they know what's in front of them can take care of that and I'll be a fool not to bring up big number 99, Justin Hamilton. I know it's one game. Shout out to Natchez, Mississippi. His mama babysitted me. You know, that's how small Natchez is. <laughs> Shout out to Big Ham. But you guys, that's what we called his father, Big Ham. But this is the thing. Cowboy Nation. If a lot of you guys were worried when Brent Urban went away, right? A lot of you guys were worried when we lose out on a Demarcus Lawrence. And all I'm telling you guys is that this team do not wait for the rain to come to go purchase its poncho, its raincoat, you know, the rain boots. No, 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 no. They already got them purchased. So when the rain is here, Go reach around there. Pull out that umbrella. You know, the previous administration, which a lot of people were so fixated on for nine to ten years. Say, ah, we're going to run through the rain without our jackets, without our rain boots, without our ponchos and umbrellas. They waited. And it was too late to make the necessary adjustments. But this team, under the influence Mike McCarthy and Dan Quinn Coach George Edwards Joe Philbin Joe Witt Jr. They make the necessary purchases On the front end So when it's time for them to make those adjustments They can bring in a J. Ron Curse To help out things When Donovan Wilson went down Never missed the beat they can slap their hands like that and bring and elevate Terrence Steele. Hmm? Even Todd Nasucky comes in. <laughs> Don't miss a beat. You guys get how this team is doing. Making the necessary adjustments goes a long way, not a short way. And hats off to J. Ron Curse. Hats off if, if you really want to fall in love with these uh, numbers here pass rush 90.1 overall 72.4 how can you contextualize that law what what were he's doing the previous year let's go let's go look into 2020 mm, all yellow fellow <laughs> he improved in every single category let me repeat, in every single category. Say this and I mean this from the bottom of my heart. Anything move, we putting that That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Yeah, yeah. Are you not
entertained? Are you not entertained? Yeah.